Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful loop fringe earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself and I'm also using only seed beads to do them. I will tell you just a few words but you could skip this intro if you want and go directly to the work itself. If you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself plus you will be inspired often usually twice a week with my new projects. In description you will also find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and now guys I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. Here I'm using 8 o beads, only two of them matching the yellow color. And here I use earring findings and two jump rings. This is Nymon Island thread which is size D, the thickness is 0.2 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle, you could use 12 or 11 if you want. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle, let's say about an arm span and I'll be back. Guys, and I'm back and I'm going to start my central part. By the way, if you want, you could make your central part with monofilament, let's say, to give more tension to the central part. Now I'm going to show everything with nylon nylon thread, but if you want, uh, you could use this idea if you want to have a better shape in the center. So now what I'm going to pick up in the beginning are two seed beads and I'm going to start the familiar herringbone stitch. If you don't know it, don't worry because I will show it really easy and slowly and it's an easy stitch. Okay, so now I have my two beads together and I'm going to make a knot here and I will pull like this. Then I'm going again through one of the beads, you see what I do, okay, through one of the beads. Now I'm going to take just one seed bead and I'm going here in the other one, okay. Now I have this and from here on I'm going to start the herringbone. Okay, I'm taking two yellow beads like this and as I'm exiting through one of those yellows I'm going back through the other one. And I pull. You see now I have this. Then what I do is that I go back through these two beads in this direction. Okay. And I'm flipping the way it's easier for me. Okay, now I take again two yellow beads and I'm going back in circle through this yellow here, through the other one. Then I pull in this direction and then I go through these two beads in this direction. You see what I have? Okay, now I have this. Three rows of carrying bone. Then I'm taking two again, going back in circle through this one. Then pulling in this direction, you see what I do. I pull in this direction and I go through these two beads. Okay, this is the fourth row of herringbone. Then I'm adding a fifth one, two beads exiting out of one of my yellows, 
going through the other one pull in this direction you see what I have and go through these two beads and I'm removing my fingers to see because you told me I put my fingers on my work all the time and you can't see the whole picture okay so exiting of one of my beads I'm going through the other with the two beads on my needle and then I go in this direction then I go through these two see where I am and I pull okay guys and now I'm going to make 33 of these rows and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and here I am guys where I'm adding my 33rd row here and I'm doing the same thing exiting here through these two beads just like this now I take just one of these beautiful yellow beads go like this through one or two through two beads in this direction then I go back and then I go here through this yellow and now what I want to do if, is flip my work in this direction okay you see one of the yellows is here and the other one is here now I take one green bead and as I'm exiting through one of those yellows I'm going through the other one then I will take one more and I will go here in the other in the first one okay and now I have this beautiful cross of four beads okay guys and now as I'm exiting through this yellow bead of this cross what I want to take is one eight oh bead and as I'm exiting through it I'm going through the other yellow here in this direction okay and I fix this and I pull to make this stay in the center of my work now I will go through the green then I will go through the yellow in the center and through the other green and why I'm doing this guys it's simple here I'm going to attach my earring finding I will attach here first this one and then my earring findings I show you this at the end of my work about the end of my work okay so now what I do is that I go again here through this yellow bead and I want to exit through one of those yellows in my herringbone part okay let's say here and now I will start my fringe part and here what I want to take is one green one yellow one orange and then I flip a yellow and a green okay this is what I have and as I'm exiting here through the first um, row of my herringbone I'm going in the second and in the opposite bead so I'm going here in this bead okay and I'm going to pull just like this okay now I have my first print fringe part like a loop here and it's ready okay now I'm exiting out of the second row and I'm going to take a similar thing a green a yellow and this time two orange beads and then a yellow and a green okay this is what I have and now I'm exiting here in the next bead in my next row so I'm exiting now from the second I'm going through the bead that is at the third row okay now I have my second fringe you see with two orange beads instead of one 
and now I'm taking a green, a yellow, this time three orange beads, and a yellow and a green. Okay. And as I'm exiting here through this yellow, I'm going in the opposite yellow of my herringbone and in my next row of herringbone. Okay. You see where I'm going. And this time I have three. Okay, and I'm going to continue. A green, a yellow, this time four orange beads. A yellow and a green. Okay, you see, this is what I have here. This time four. And I'm going in the opposite bead and in the next row. You see, I think you could see where I'm exiting out of and where I'm going. Okay. Okay, guys, and I will continue a few more rows and my thread will be over and I'll show you how to cut it and add a new thread. Okay, guys, and I continued two more rows and now I'm here where I'm adding here six orange beads okay this row and now my thread is really short that is why i want to cut it and in order to cut it i'm going here in this direction and i want to make a knot and cut it okay i'm here like this i make a loop i go twice through the loop i've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and when I pull I have this and it is time to cut my thread okay and you could repeat this knot several times if you want okay now I'm going to take a new thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys and now I have a new arm span of thread on my needle and what I'm going to do is go here through this bead, let's say this one. Here I'm going to make a knot by making here a loop the same way I showed you. And going once, then going second time through this loop I've made pull again and I want to exit here in the next yellow bead after my last loop okay and now I'm going to get rid of this tail thread here by the way you could repeat this knot several more times if you want your work to be really secure okay and now where I am, here I just added six uh, beads in this row and I'm going to continue the same way. A green, a yellow, seven orange beads and then a yellow and a green. Okay, and here in the center are seven orange beads. And now as I'm exiting here through this yellow, I'm going in the other one and in my next row. Okay, now I have this. Then again, a green, a yellow, and this time eight of these beautiful orange beads you see I have my eight here eight orange beads and then a yellow and a green okay then as I'm exiting here I'm going in the next one 
Now guys, I'm going to continue this until I have 16 orange beads and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here at my row where I'm adding 16 beads. You see? Now I'm going to slide those down. I mean 16 orange beads and again green and yellow at the edges. Okay, here I am. And I'm doing absolutely the same thing. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is pick up the same sequence again. I want to have 16 orange in the center and from there on I will decrease. I will have 15, 14, 12 and so on. Okay, I'm picking up my 16. Okay guys, and now I have my 16 orange beads on my needle again. You'd see 4 times 4, it's 16. Surround and tweet yellows and greens. As always, slide those down and go here. Okay, and I'm going to show you my next two rows with 15 and 14 beads. Okay, and now I have 15 beads for my next row as I'm decreasing 3 times 5, it's 15. And I'm going to slide those down. And again, I'm doing the same thing going in my next bead, the bead that's next to it and in my next row. Okay. Now I will show you with 14. Okay, guys, now I have 14 beads and I'm doing absolutely the same thing as I did before. Okay. And you should continue your work the same way. And if you work correctly here at your last step, you should have only one orange bead the same way you started it. Okay, I'll do this and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and as I continue with this work, this is what I have. Here I am where I should add two orange beads because here this row is with three orange beads, you see. And I'm going to show you my last two rows. Okay, I'm taking a green and a yellow, two orange beads, and then a yellow and a green. Okay, this is what I have. I have this. And as I'm exiting through this yellow, I'm going through the other one. And here I'm finishing the same way that I started in my last row. I'm taking a green, a yellow, one orange, and then a yellow and a green. Okay, this is what I have here. And as I'm exiting through one of my yellow beads, I'm going through the other one. Okay guys, and now I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread, but because I showed you this a lot of times, now I'm not showing this and I'll be back just to show you how to attach your earring finding. Okay guys, and here I am where I want to attach my earring finding and I just want to remind you that if you want the central ring to be more with more tension, uh, you should use monofilament for it. Okay, I didn't want to overcomplicate things. That is why I did everything with Nymo thread, but uh, this is a good idea to use monofilament in the center and in this way this uh, black thread won't show as well. Okay, that is why uh, here I'm attaching my earring finding. I'm putting on my jump ring in this central bead and then I'm putting my earring finding and now my earring is ready. Okay guys and now my loop fringe seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired 
often usually twice a week and you will make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in the description you will find the full list of materials linked to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.